Hi artist friends! Today I'm going to be showing you four different ways that you can add some really cool texture to your art project. We're going to be looking at how to do some fringe with paper, how to create a spiral that pops out, how to create a feather, and how to do some crumpled paper. So let's take a look. The first thing we're going to do is create some fringe. This can work really well for grass, especially if you're doing an outdoor landscape drawing. So I'm going to begin with this small strip of paper and I'm going to color it in green first with my marker. This also works really well if you have green construction paper that is available for you to use. But if not, you can always just color a strip of white paper instead. Then you're going to hold it and carefully start cutting little slits into it, but make sure not to cut all the way because then you're going to cut that piece off. We just want to cut all the way, leaving a little bit along this edge. And you're just going to keep cutting little strips that's going to look like our grass and be take your time we never want to rush when we're cutting and keep an eye on where your fingers are to keep the other hand away from your scissors All right, and then you've got your fringe. And it's kind of fun to pull some you know, further back, some kind of in the middle, and some going back. It makes it look a little more realistic like grass. You can even do two different layers. I did some shorter grass with the dark green on here and some lighter green grass that's taller to give it a little bit more dimension. So that's our first technique is fringe. Next, let's learn how to do a spiral. So to do a spiral, take a small piece of paper and grab your pencil and lightly sketch out a circle. It does not need to be perfect. Now, if you're gonna be doing this for a sun, you might wanna color it yellow, and I did some orange behind to make it look kinda neat. Um, but whatever color spiral you're going to do, go ahead and color that in before you cut. It's okay if you get out of the lines because we're going to be recycling those edges anyway. All right, now carefully cut on your pencil line so that we have a circular shape to work with. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting right next to the edge and we're cutting in a little spiral going smaller and smaller as we get towards the center. If it's easier, then you can lightly draw this with pencil so that you have something to cut on like that. So whatever you're more comfortable with. So I can now, if I drew a line in pencil, cut on that. So I'm slowly curving, going towards the center. And stop. All right, so it looks like a little spring. And what's neat then is you can just glue this bottom edge down to your paper, and as it goes towards the center, it will pop up just like this here sun. All right, so we've now seen how to do fringe and a spiral. Let's see how to make a feather in case you wanted to add a bird to your drawing with a little bit of texture. So you just need a smaller scrap of paper. You're gonna make sort of um, like a football shape or the shape of an eye, like that. And again, decide what color you'd want to do. So my bird was blue, so I'm gonna color it in with blue. All right, and then go ahead and cut that out. And you could either use this for a bird's wing 
Or you could do a bunch of these and layer them on a bird to give it some really cool texture. All right, now we're just gonna be cutting little diagonal slits in both sides of this. Again, if it's easier, use your pencil and draw those lines before you cut. Just like that. This can also be a cool way to do um, a leaf. You could color it green instead and cut some of these little notches in there as well to give a leaf some texture. All right, so I'm just cutting tiny little cuts so that then, kind of like the grass fringe, I can pull these up and it makes it look a little more fluffy like a feather. So for my bird, I just use that for my wing, but I could even add this one on to give it a little bit more. All right, so that's the feather technique. So the last thing we're gonna look at is crumpling, which you have probably done before. So I would use any little scraps that you have left over, or if you don't have any little scraps, just take a piece of paper and cut it into some little smaller pieces to make it a little bit easier. So you can then just crumple it up. So you're just gonna kinda squish it, and depending on what type of space you're trying to fill, you might just need a couple or you might need a whole bunch. Uh, I used this on my drawing for texture on my clouds. So I sketched out the cloud shape and I glued them on to make it look nice and puffy. This could also be a cool technique to use if you were drawing a bunny. You could put these maybe in the tail or if there's anything else that you wanted to look kind of fluffy in your drawing. All right, so this is the crumpling technique. So if any of these sound like they might work for your drawing this week, go ahead and try either the fringe, spiral, feather, or crumpling technique with some paper to add a little bit of texture. I can't wait to see what you come up with.